Hi, my name is Elizabeth Cousad, and I am the author of this book, A Single Lady's Guide to Dating. Um, I wrote this book at the encouragement of my good friend Alice, and we sat down and talked about the 10 top rules that I have for dating, which became the chapters of this book. And so I want here today to talk to you about these chapters and the things that you're going to learn uh, or explore in this book if you decide to read it. So here we go. One of the first things you're going to learn in this book is how to value yourself. And valuing yourself is a really, really huge step that we take towards loving ourselves, towards loving ourselves with radical self-love, which means it is completely unconditional and no one outside of us can affect the level of love we have for ourselves. Um, so we explore a lot about valuing yourself because it's really the first step towards enormous amounts of self-love. And the, we're going to go on from there and talk about, you know, being realistic in dating and trying to see things as they really are and then trying to see ourselves as we really are, which is always a struggle. And we're going to go into how to trust yourself, but also how to make mistakes. And I think that making mistakes is a really huge part of the process of trusting yourself. Um, making mistakes is where we learn the most. It's where we learn who we are what we want, what we can compromise on, and what we cannot tolerate and do not want anything to do with. Um, and those things are important things to know when you're dating because you really need to figure out, you know, what is it that you really want? You know, like what is it, who is it that you really want? What's the type of person that's right for you? And everyone's a little different. So, you know, you're not gonna be just like your best friend. You're not gonna be just like your sister or your brother. Like you're not gonna be just like your mom, right? So it's a little bit different for everyone. And it's important that you take the time to explore that for yourself. Um, when it comes to self-love and valuing yourself, that also means that at some point you're gonna become the boss of your own life. You're gonna set the terms for how you want your life to be for how you want your dating life to be, but also for how you want, you know, your everyday, day-to-day -day life to be. And the truth is that no one can really do that for you. You know, your parents can tell you how they think it should be. Your friends can tell you how they think it should be. Your professors can tell you how they think it should be. But at the end of the day, it's your choice. No one can tell you that for you, right? And that's why I think that one of the top tips I have in this book is to be your own best boyfriend to treat yourself the way that you want others to treat you, that you would want a beautiful, handsome, amazing boyfriend or you know, girlfriend or partner to treat you. And I think it's really important that we all figure out what that really means to us and how we can go about doing it for ourselves. For me, it's taking myself out to lunch and going to the museum or going to see a movie. Like for you, it might be taking a bubble bath and staying in or going to bed early. Like. It really just depends on the day and who you are and how you're feeling. And, and this book is all about you and all about you figuring out how to love who it is that you are right now and how to stop letting other people define what that means for you and start defining it for yourself. So I hope that you enjoy this book. And if you want to contact me about it, I would love to hear from you. You can find the link to my website and my Facebook page below. And there are going to be more videos to come that will unpack each of the chapters in this book as you go along reading it. So I hope that you can be part of this journey with me because I wrote this book for you. Obrigada.